Hey babe, you won't believe it, but your mom has been so friendly to me lately. She's been messaging and calling me quite often. I think she's finally warming up to you. Have you heard from her recently? I know you guys never really got along. I still remember how Mark's message took me by surprise. My mother, Bonnie, was notorious for her difficult and cruel personality. Over the years, she had managed to alienate me along with almost all of the rest of her family besides my sister, Lucy. Hello everyone. My husband and I had always kept our distance from her to maintain some semblance of peace in our lives, but I had never revealed the full extent of her behavior to Mark. I wanted to keep that part of my life firmly in the past. I couldn't help but wonder what had prompted this sudden change. Was it genuine or was there an ulterior motive? Bonnie's actions were always laced with hidden agendas and manipulation. It made me wary of her sudden friendliness towards my husband. As weeks went by, Bonnie's interactions with Mark continued to increase. She would send him funny messages, call him to chat, and even invited him for lunch. I have to admit, I almost hoped that I would have a mother in my life again, but mostly I was worried. I tried to talk to Mark about my concerns, but he brushed them off, claiming that it was nice to have a better relationship with my mother. He couldn't understand the years of strain and tension that had led me to keep our distance from Bonnie. Deep down I felt a sense of unease growing within me. I knew my mother too well to believe that she had genuinely changed her ways. There had to be something more to her sudden friendliness towards Mark. Mark, we need to talk. I'm really worried about how much time you're suddenly spending with Bonnie. I haven't really told you the truth about her, how unstable and dangerous she is. Babe, what's gotten into you? Bonnie and I have been having coffee and catching up. It's harmless. Maybe she finally wants to change. As Mark dismissed my concerns, frustrations, and fear coursed through my veins, I couldn't believe he was underestimating the true nature of my mother. Why wouldn't he trust me? Mark, please listen to me. I've experienced Bonnie's manipulation firsthand. She has a way of twisting things and causing chaos. I'm genuinely worried about what she might be up to. I don't think we can trust her. But my plea fell on deaf ears. Mark remained firm in his belief that Bonnie had changed, blind to her true nature. I felt a knot tighten in my stomach, a sinking feeling that our relationship was being tested and that we might be failing. Looking back on my marriage with Mark, there was a time when we were genuinely happy together. We had our fair share of ups and downs, but our love was strong, and we made a great team. I still have fond memories of those simple days. I never could have imagined our story would take such a twisted turn, filled with betrayal and deceit. The crisis that was coming would test me to my limits, and the person I once trusted my whole being would become a stranger. But at the time, I couldn't see it. I thought I might have been a bit hard on my husband. Mark, I'm sorry if I seemed suspicious of you lately. I just have a very bad history with Bonnie. It's hard for me to believe that she could change. I didn't mean to doubt you. Softly, Susie, I understand. Don't worry, nothing could ever come between us. I know you two have never had a good relationship. These things can be scary. In that moment, a glimmer of hope ignited within me. Mark's willingness to acknowledge my pain and extend forgiveness gave me some much-needed reassurance. With a mix of relief and caution, thank you, Mark. I want to believe in her again. Let's work through this together. As we embraced, I felt that maybe things would be all right, after all. But just as the shadows of doubt began to fade, Mark revealed a startling revelation that sent chills down my spine. Speaking of your mom, Bonnie has invited us to dinner along with your sister, Lucy. She said she wants to mend the family ties, Susie. I think this could be good for you. My heart skipped a beat. Bonnie's sudden invitation set off alarms in my mind. I had a sinking feeling that this dinner held a hidden agenda. This must be a trap. Trembling, Mark, please be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm open to mending things, but I don't feel comfortable with this yet. Lucy had always been my mother's partner in crime. I knew in my gut they were plotting something. Mark's expression shifted from curiosity to concern as he registered my words, but in the end, I couldn't make him listen to my side. We agreed to go to dinner, 
A week later, I was standing outside my mom's house for the first time in years. Going to dinner with Mark, Bonnie, and Lucy was an experience that filled me with a mix of anxiety and uncertainty. Meeting with my mom and sister was like opening a box that I had rather stayed closed. Susie, darling, it's so wonderful to have you here. We've missed you terribly so much. Forcing a smile. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate the invitation. Oh, how I miss having both my girls close by. Susie, look at you all dolled up. Mark, you're a lucky man to have such a beautiful wife. As Bonnie and Lucy greeted me with open arms, showering me with compliments, I felt uneasy. There was something in Lucy's tone that gave me a bad feeling. Thank you, Lucy. It's kind of you to say, Mark does have good taste. The dinner progressed, and on the surface, everything appeared fine. We engaged in light conversation, sharing laughter and stories. We caught up as family. But deep down, I couldn't ignore the subtle glances Lucy directed at Mark. The way her eyes lingered a little too long, the praise she threw his way. But I trusted Mark. I ignored my feelings and tried to focus on rekindling family ties. But as the night wore on, my unease intensified. Lucy's attention towards Mark grew more conspicuous, and I caught her trying to speak to him alone twice. I felt the atmosphere becoming tense. So Mark, you seem like the perfect husband. Do you ever feel like Susie keeps you on a tight leash? No, we have a lot of trust, right, Susie? Yes, we do, hon. I definitely know what I'd do to keep a man like you around. The dinner left a bad taste in my mouth, and as the weeks went by, things went from bad to worse. One day, Lucy messaged me out of the blue. Hey, sis. It was great to see you and Mark the other night. Oh, hi, Lucy. Thanks for inviting us. Sounds good. My pleasure. Hey, I think it would be great if we could get together again. Let's get the sisters together and catch up. I didn't know what to think. Lucy had always helped my mom torment me. But even if the dinner had been a little weird, she hadn't done anything outrageous. I felt I couldn't refuse. Sure, what were you thinking? Let's get coffee. I'll text you the location tomorrow, at 10. Great, sis. See you soon. I was nervous when I arrived at the coffee shop. Can people really change? There was no point in putting it off. Time to talk to my sister. Hi, Lucy. It's been a while. I'm glad we could meet. Excited, Susie? I've missed you so much, sis. Take a seat. Let's catch up. I had to admit I felt uneasy, but I thought it would be nice to have my sister in my life again. It's nice to see you too, Lucy. It's been ages since we last got together. Well, it's all water under the bridge. How's life treating you? I can't complain. Mark and I are very happy. Eagerly. So tell me, Susie, how did you manage to win over Mark? What a catch. He seems so guarded and hard to please. I was taken aback. Why all this interest in my husband? Uh, I don't know what to say. We just hit it off. And how's your marriage? I guess it's happy, right? Taken aback, Lucy. I thought we were meeting to reconnect as sisters, not to discuss my marriage. Why the sudden curiosity about Mark? Lucy tried to avoid meeting my eye. I noticed a shift in Lucy's demeanor, her repeated interest in my husband. It made me uneasy. Was there an ulterior motive behind her questions? My instincts told me that something was off. Just gossiping. You know, I've had some bad luck with relationships lately, and I thought maybe you could give me some tips. Mark seems to adore you, and I really want some advice on winning a man's heart. Give me your best tricks. Tricks? Yeah, to find my own, Mark. Winning a man's heart? The Lucy I knew never had any trouble with that. She was smart enough to know that love couldn't be boiled down to simple tricks or formulas. What did she actually want to know? I could have guessed that it was really the key to Mark's heart. Cautiously, Lucy, building a successful relationship isn't about tricks or manipulation. It's about genuine connection, trust, and understanding. But I'm curious, why this sudden interest in finding a man like Mark? Lucy fidgeted with a coffee cup, avoiding my gaze. Something was definitely wrong here. Looks like the old family demons were rearing their ugly heads. Was Bonnie involved here too? Hesitant. Well, Bonnie has been pressuring me to settle down and start a family. She keeps comparing my life to yours, and I guess I'm just looking for some guidance. You're like her golden girl, really? Her golden girl? There was no way. My mom had never forgiven me for resisting her. My suspicions were confirmed as Lucy mentioned Bonnie. She was definitely up to something. Like 
Just tell me a bit. What does he like to do? Favorite foods? What's he really like? Well, against my better judgment, I kept chatting with Lucy about Mark. I put my doubts aside and tried to enjoy some quality time with my sister. As I went home later that day, I saw Mark making a snack in the kitchen. Hey babe, what's up? Not much, just spent some time catching up with Lucy. Hey, that's great. You two haven't been close, right? No, she was always closer to my mom. Well, it's great that you're getting together again. Yeah, I guess it is. The next week was busy, and I soon forgot how odd my little coffee date with my sister was. However, I soon noticed some troubling patterns. Mark stayed friendly with my mom. However, he began to get more and more distant at home. I felt that we were beginning to drift apart. I remember staring at the message on my phone, feeling a mix of disappointment and resignation. It had become a pattern lately, Mark's sudden workload and endless excuses for never being home. At first, I had brushed it off convincing myself that he was just working hard like always. But I had my doubts deep down. Suddenly my mom reached out to me. We hadn't spoken since the dinner. Hey Susie, long time no talk? How have you been? Oh hi mom, I've been good, thanks. Just keeping busy. How about you? I've been doing well too, actually. I wanted to let you know that something big is, is coming your way soon. Something that will make you regret betraying your own mother. Being nasty all these years. My heart skipped a beat as I read Bonnie's message. What did she mean by a big surprise? What did she have in store for me? Mom, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't betrayed anyone. I'd love for us to keep getting along. My mind raced as I thought about what she might have in store for me. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Let's just say you're gonna get what you deserve. Hope you're doing well. I felt sick as I read the message. Little did I know that this spelled the beginning of the end of my marriage. But when Mark came home that night, I wasn't expecting anything. Susie, we need to talk. I have something important to tell you. What's wrong, Mark? You look upset. Is everything okay? I don't know how to say this, but I've made a decision. I'm divorcing you, Susie. I've fallen in love with someone else, and my heart wants what it wants. Mark's words hit me like a hammer, and my heart sank. Divorce? Fallen in love with someone else? It felt like the ground beneath me was crumbling. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. How could he do this to me? And who could he possibly have fallen in love with? Susie, you have to understand. Lucy and I are so happy together. And your mom, she's even supporting us. She's giving us money to start our new life. Mark's words devastated me. Suddenly it all became clear. This was my mom's plan all along. Plotting to steal Mark away from me and ruin my home. I knew she couldn't be trusted. Bonnie, Lucy, Mark, my whole family had turned against me. Mark continued to explain his decision and express his happiness. My world was crumbling around me. The love and trust I once had for him shattered in an instant. I knew the upcoming days would be filled with turmoil and heartbreak as I tried to make sense of my life. Suddenly I was filled with anger. At Mark, at Bonnie, at everyone. How could you do this to me, Mark? After everything we've been through, you betrayed me with my own sister? Get out of this house right now. Susie, I'm sorry, but I can't just leave. We need to talk this through and find a way to move forward. I want you to be happy. No, Mark. There's nothing left to talk about. You've shattered our trust, our marriage. I can't bear to look at you anymore. Pack your things and go now. Susie, this isn't fair. I don't want to hear it. Get out. As I stood there watching Mark gather his things, a whirlwind of emotions consumed me. Anger, betrayal, and sadness intertwined. I admit that I felt a little sorry for myself. Mark finished packing and headed towards the door. Susie, I'm truly sorry for what I've done. I never meant to hurt you like this. I hope someday you can find it in your heart to forgive me. You need to leave immediately. As Mark walked away from our home, the reality of my situation sank in. I was alone, betrayed by the person I thought I could trust the most. Betrayed by my own family. I crumbled to the floor, engulfed in tears. How was I going to survive this? And if I survived, how would I move forward? Would I be able to love again? Later that night, my mom decided to chime in to salt my wounds. Hey Susie, just thought you should know that I've won. Mark is mine now and there's nothing you can do about it. You'll be our slave for life, and you'll never be happy again. 
you'll never escape me. My heart sank again as I read the message. Could this really be happening? How could my own mother be so cruel? How could she be so cruel to take pleasure in someone else's pain and use Lucy to steal Mark away? It's despicable. What had I done to deserve a mom like this? Mom, your actions may have caused pain, but they won't define me. I refuse to let you poison my life any longer. This was your last chance. Mark may be gone, but I am stronger than ever. I will find my happiness, and it won't be dependent on anyone else. I blocked her after that. It was to be the last time I ever spoke to my mom. Just one day later, an unexpected surprise came my way. I was sitting in the living room when there was a knock on the door. When I opened it, I was surprised to find Mark standing there. Two days later, there's a knock on the door. Susie opens it to find Mark standing there, his face filled with anger and frustration. Mark, what are you doing here? I thought we had settled everything. If we need to speak, it can be through our lawyers. Please leave. Don't play dumb with me, Susie. Why didn't you tell me your mom was insane? Oh, you didn't know? What are they up to? Lucy is demanding access to my bank account. Bonnie won't leave us alone for a second, and she treats me like a whipping boy. I'm losing my mind. Oh, Mark, that's terrible. How could you keep such a crucial piece of information from me, Susie? I tried to warn you. I've been dealing with my mother's illness for years, and Lucy has only ever made things worse. I didn't want us to be dragged back into that chaos, but you wouldn't listen. Mark was shocked. A look of regret passed over his face. Lucy and Bonnie are making my life a living hell, and that money your mom promised is nowhere to be found. They tricked me. I wanted to protect you, Mark. I thought that by keeping this from you, I could shield you from the pain and turmoil of my broken family. But I guess I was wrong. Mark, please. I was wrong. Take me back. I'll do anything you ask. I admit there was a part of me that wanted to say yes when I heard these words, but I couldn't forget everything that had happened. Mark, you betrayed me and our marriage. There's nothing left for us. I'm sorry this happened to you, but this is goodbye. Mark tried bargaining with me, getting angry with me, and finally pleading with me. However, I was sure I had to stand firm. I was tired of being a doormat and letting people walk all over me. In the end, Mark left me alone and we had an amicable divorce. I resolved to cut my mom out of my life once and for all. The universe had given me a tough lesson in the need to stand up for myself while it was terrible at the time. I've managed to start a new life. I've taken a new job, moved to a new country, and even fallen in love. I'm all set to be married again later this year. I'm looking forward to this next chapter of my life and have never been happier.